Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a review and swatches on the new Marc Jacobs Iconic Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Scandalous. So this is what the eyeshadows look like. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts on this palette and see swatches, then please continue to watch. So this is what the outer packaging of the palette looks like. It came in a cardboard box and the outside of the palette is super sleek and really pretty. It's super thin and the shade names of the palette are all written on the back of the palette. So when you open it up, it does come with a little mirror. You can see it right there. And then the colors look like this. So they're super duper warm, right up my alley. The price of this palette is $64, which is pretty steep, but it's in line with all of the other iconic um, palettes that were all released around the same time. And each of the palettes comes with six neutral shades. So these ones right here, and then a pop color. And if you look at the back of the palette, the names of the eyeshadows are listed out, and each name makes a uh, full sentence so this one says hot pants at the office cause a fuss that's why they call her little miss scandalous so each of the eyeshadows names corresponds to a word in the palette or a couple words in the palette so i thought that was kind of cute and it is the eyeshadow palette that i have on my eyes today i do have a look using this palette it's a tutorial it's gonna probably go up after this video so I think that there is a good mix of mattes and shimmers in this palette. However, I do feel like the amount of looks that you can create with this palette is a little bit limited given that there are only seven eyeshadows in it. The eyeshadows blend so beautifully and it is very pigmented but it also comes with a lot of fallout uh, along the lines of the Anastasia and Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. So if you're wondering what the kick up is like on that palette, it's very comparable to the Anastasia. And in fact, the quality of the eyeshadows, I would also compare to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. It's very much in line with that sort of quality, which to be honest, I was expecting it to be even easier to blend and even more pigmented and more beautiful given that the palette costs $64, which is very, very steep. What do I think of this palette? I think that this palette is beautiful. I think the color range is really pretty. I think it's quite versatile while being a little bit limited at the same time given that there are only seven eyeshadows in this palette, but I think you could create a lot of looks in it. There are three shimmery shades, so hot pants, this one which is called Cause of Fuss, and this one here which is called They Call Her. So there are three shimmery shades and the rest of the palette is matte. This beautiful pop shade too is matte, which I'm really excited about. And overall, I do think that it is a good palette. Do I think that this palette is worth the $66, $64 price tag? I do not. And the reason for that is because I feel like there are other shadows on the market now and eyeshadow palettes that have comparable eyeshadows at a much better price point. Like I had mentioned earlier, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette is very comparable to this in terms of quality and blendability. So I think that that one is a lot better value for money. Am I going to keep this eyeshadow palette? Yeah, probably because I actually really, really like it. And I really have liked the looks that I've come up with this palette. In terms of longevity, I would say that the eyeshadows look beautiful for six hours with absolutely no fading, no creasing or anything like that. At the six to seven hour mark, I did notice a lot of creasing, like right in my crease, but I do have pretty deep creases in my upper eyelid. So just through this area, I did notice quite a bit of creasing and fading. Um, but other than that, even though it did have a little bit of creasing, because when I have my eyes open, you can't really see that section unless I have my eyes closed, it wasn't noticeable, I would say for about eight hours. After the eight hour mark, it did start to fade and crease quite a bit more. But if I had my eyes open at the 8 hour mark, you really couldn't tell that there was much creasing. But I did notice the creasing uh, began around the 6 to 7 hour mark. 
overall I do think that this is a nice palette it's definitely a nice to have but definitely not a necessity thank you so much for watching everyone and thank you for all your support I really really do appreciate it if you have any video ideas please leave it in the comment section down below and let me know do you like this palette do you think that it's worth the money let me know I will see you in my next video bye